Hello everyone, welcome! My name is Maurice Aizawa and in this video I want to share with you how you can free up your Google Drive account. I'm also going to explain you the structure of Google Drive and also the services that is consuming your space. So next time you can understand the reason you have this type of storage. And also at the end of the video I'm going to share with you a particular command that you can use in your search uh, that definitely will help you to understand and find some hidden files. Yes, there are some cases that you have files that you don't see in your structure, but they are there consuming your space. So before to dive in, just hit like and subscribe to our channel to receive our newest uh, tutorials. Okay, now I am in my Google Drive account and you can see the details of your storage just right here below on this left side. Okay, you can see that I have a total storage of 17 gigabytes and I'm consuming uh, 12 gigabytes. Okay, so as I said before, you need to understand that this specific uh, space that you have is consumed by other Google services. So if you click here in buy storage, it's going to uh, direct you to the plans. So you can see the plans and you can decide if you want to increase your storage capacity. But pay attention that in this page, is not at the top of the page. You can scroll up the page and here you can have another perspective about your storage. Okay, so take a look here. You can understand clearly that uh, your Google Drive is uh, basically uh, the space that you have Google Drive files is consuming six gigabytes. And my Gmail, my personal account is consuming five gigabytes and also Google Photos. So those are the services that is consuming your space. Okay, so pay attention and you can go directly to the services clicking here and uh, trying to identify and clean up. Uh, if you don't know why you can clean up, uh, you have this option that you uh, Google will try to bring information so you can decide better. They're going to sort and find their group some of the data so you can see more information. So let's see it. Uh, in regard to discarded items in your uh, Gmail and also Google Drive, uh, they are showing that I have to review and clear 45 megabytes of files that I deleted, probably are in the bin, in the trash, and I can uh, just empty, empty my bin and release this space. Also, uh, I have some spam emails, okay, that I can delete and, and free up this particular space. I don't have any deleted files in my trash, so it's it's showing here that uh, it's zero. Uh, they are also show you this uh, large items. It's a way that you can just go directly to the uh, to the larger files and also uh, some large attachments. In regards to uh, Google Drive, let me show you something. If you go to your Google Drive and you want to list all the larger files, you can do this uh, very quick if you click here on this storage. Not in the buy storage as we clicked before, but you click here in this stat. So when you click your uh, Google Drive is going to sort all the files, the larger files. If it's not sorting correctly, just click here to do the reverse sort and you're going to find the, the larger files on top of it. So now you can delete if you want, okay? And when you delete, don't forget that you need to clean up your bin, okay? And the last one I would like to share with you is Google Drive when you delete some folders there are some cases that uh, they keep their folder like they lost the track of that folder okay the folder uh, is still there are still there in your account okay uh, consuming your space but you can't see on the structure so that is a common that you can use this common here that you just uh, paste in your uh, search in your google drive and just hit enter and it will bring basically all the hidden files all the files that they call it orphan files it's not organized in a structure okay so uh, those files and folders are not appearing in my google drive but they are there okay it's a way that you can see all the details and uh, you can delete when you delete this folder okay uh, it's going to your bin and you can clean up your bin and after that it will uh, free up your storage okay so yeah this specific command saved a lot of uh, my space so use it I think it's going to be useful for you or also just check 
run in your Google Drive and see if there are any orphan folders or files right there. Okay? Okay, so I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, if you like it, just hit like, subscribe to our channel. I would love to read your comments about this video if you know about this particular tip. Let me know if you run in your account and you found some orphan files. Uh, I will leave this comment on the description of the video so you can copy and paste. And also uh, on the description, I will put some links to our materials. We have some online courses uh, related to the productivity and also to have a better uh, workflow, a more organized workflow and routine. Uh, thanks for watching and see you in the next video. Bye bye.